now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for a very special segment on the show. Bunny's Rants, or what did we decide to call this? Uh, Grumpy Old Man. Grumpy Old Man, Grumpy Old Man. It's time once again for another inciting, exciting, heartwarming installment of Grumpy Old Man. Bunny, take it away. Okay. Well, I would I would like to take a look at some of our stats uh, on SoundCloud and how the show itself is doing. Uh, we are getting some high views lately, um, hovering around 100, 200 listens a day um, for the past few days. I had heard from watching another show that they had registered their podcast with iHeartRadio, something I had never thought of. Uh, so I went and did it, and I just recently got an email saying, yeah, it's been accepted, all that. So I think that may be where those high hits are coming from. Cool. Uh, I've been trying to share the podcast more, too, on my side Yeah, through various, uh, through various channels. So for right now, our top five tracks are Beat Bugs, Jim, Jim Carrey, which is weird, Walk Hard, The Dewey Cox Story. Yeah, Jim Carrey is weird. How the fuck did that? 407. No idea. What? Yeah. Um, MF Doom at number four. And at number five. Glitter Force. Glitter Force. Yeah. Yeah. Glitter huge, Force. huge Glitter Force fan base really loving us. Yeah. I imagine. Um yeah, uh, who 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 would have known that? Who would have suspected that? I never would have. Yeah. But let's see here. Um So for our our top listeners, and that's really what I wanted to do, because I don't think these people are getting near the respect that they should. First, there is Steve Galindo. How did you listen to over a thousand? Um, I spend a lot of time clicking our SoundCloud page. Yeah, okay. Uh and then next, so you were number one with a thousand with one thousand three hundred and thirteen. Yay! <laughs> and then in number two is Anissa L. Cohn with 119. So Anissa, come by, join the join the discussion group, like the Facebook page, all that kind of stuff. And we love you. yeah, because we love you and we want to see more of you. Yay! Possibly naked, but that is not a requirement whatsoever. Then in number three, we have Kareem Kamal with 76. 76. Wow. Kareem Kamal. Uh, then in number four, Lady Gendum, who is my friend Gail, who we have given the social media shout out to previously. Yes, we have. Uh, yes, we have. With 70 listens. And then Leo Gonzalez with 29, coming in the number five spot. Yay! And what this all really means is a lot of you other bitches really better start fucking listening. You know, you've got to get those numbers oh, up yeah. there. And it's up to you. It's up to yeah. you. Okay? Um, Top countries. I always... Top countries and top cities are, are the two that I always find really pretty fascinating. Uh -huh. um, so our top countries, the United States at number one with 13,800. Coming in number two these days is Japan. With, uh, maybe it's all the kaiju we've done. It, it's possible. Well, we, we, we do a good amount of Japanese fare. Um, yeah. With 1,122, the United Kingdom coming in three with 1,015. 
Australia with 925, and then France at 562. Ah, oh, the French love me. We we are the big French. in France. Yeah. Yeah, big in France. And, and and all the best people are. So that's a good thing. Uh for top cities. Ashburn, Virginia has been a long standing top city of ours at four thousand Ashburg. Ashburg Ashburn, Virginia. Ooh. So if you're yeah. in Ashburn, Virginia. Thank you. At 4,473, Shawnee, Oklahoma. Yay! Do we know anybody in Shawnee? I I don't I think the president. Possibly. At 1,301. Uh in number three, Mountain View, California. At huh. one thousand one hundred and forty-eight, Mountain View has been a long-standing supporter. Whoever it is in Mountain View, uh, they've they've been top city a few times, battling it out with with uh, Ashburn. Although it looks like Ashburn's pulled way in the lead. <clears throat> then huh. number number four is Tokyo with nine hundred and eleven, wow. and. Number five is Colorado Springs with 643, which I find kind of interesting because once I upload the shows, I don't listen to the shows. So that's not really me. Huh. So that's some other people in Colorado Springs who are listening. Maybe it's all the religious people. It's possible. It is very, very possible that it's all the religious people. Yeah. But those are the interesting stats. Any of the other stats are really kind of, meh, whatever. They're they're of interest, you know. Like, what's the most popular that came from a playlist? That kind of stuff. Um, but something else that I had seen. Now I forget the dude's name. Who played Joey on Friends? Who played Joey on Friends? I can that- see his. Face. Matt yeah. LeBlanc? No. No, that was, no Chandler. that was Chandler. Joey, he's now on this show that's supposed to be good. I have no idea. Okay, well, it doesn't make a difference. You say Joey from Friends. Anybody who has any kind of interest will know who that is. That was Matt LeBlanc? Okay, I was right. He, he was in Matthew that... Matthew Perry was Chandler. Matthew Perry. Okay, yeah. No, Matt LeBlanc. So I saw him in an interview recently this week uh, of, you know, just some talk show. Um, And what kind of struck me is he really looks to be like the Dean Martin of our age. You know, there was a certain kind of suaveness to him. And his ability to tell a story. He was very entertaining in that way. Uh, and something else that got mentioned somewhere, somewhere, somewhere George Hamilton was brought up. And, huh. he, and he was also a very suave motherfucker. Yeah. Which made me realize that there is a very, very fine line between suave and fabulous <laughs> you know it's right there so you have to you have to be careful i mean joey is right up on the edge there but he's definitely still to the suave george hamilton always teetered on that brink yeah you know yeah so that was an observation that I that I had made this week that I thought was worth pointing out. Um, I am currently animating Reggie's boombox, so that will that that's actually going to be like the first commercial released because it's just simple. There's nothing going on. It's just it's just going with the music. So that should be out in just a couple of days. Um, Trying to get the subway station better and working on getting my characters into a 
different animating program to see if I can get more done with them. And that's really about all I have for this week. Well, I feel that I've learned a lot. And I, I feel that everyone who has been listening to this, no doubt they are crying tears of joy. So thank you. I want to thank you for sharing. Yes. I want you for I want to thank you for sharing this part of your soul to us, Bunny. <laughs> thank you. You everybody give a hand for Bunny. Are give well. a hand for Bunny. Yay! <laughs> Join us next week for another pan rattling episode of Grumpy Old Man. That's right. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine.